Today I'm gonna lower this thing down and we're gonna make some changes. Stick around, there's some cool stuff coming up. I already have two of the lines uh, undone and just kind of dangling there, two of the support lines. I gotta go around the other side and undo the other two and then lower that thing down. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. It hinges at the base. So all I have to do is undo the top bolt on the, uh, the 2 by 4 is coming out of the roof. Undo the top one, loosen the bottom one, and then just hinge it right down onto the roof. Alright, let me get to that. I'm going to climb up there and drop that down. I'm going to temporarily put up a uh, the Antron clone, the Radio Shack antenna. I'm going to stick that up there for now because we have rain in the forecast for the rest of the week. So just in case I can't get this done, at least I'll still have an uh, antenna set up on the garage. Alright, let's get to work before the rain comes. All right, well, I have the half wave, uh, I want to call it an antron. It's a Radio Shack half wave antenna. A half wave over a quarter wave. It's uh, pretty much identical to an antron. I have that up there temporarily just so I still have an antenna set up. Uh, the mast is the way it's going to stay. You can see that there's two pipes clamped together. I don't know how well. Well, right there we can see it pretty good underneath the uh, support lines. So there's the two of them together to give it some extra strength. And then where the Radio Shack antenna is attached right now, that's where the rotor box is going to go. But for now, that's up there just so that I can build and configure the beam again. All right, I'm going to get to working on that beam antenna. The Yagi is sitting here on the ground. It's bigger than it looks when it's up in the air, that's for sure. Now I just gotta add a rotor right there where that plate is. <laughs> Told you, it's pretty big. Look at it sitting next to my car. It's definitely a lot bigger than it looks when it's up in the air. So I figured while I had the uh, rotor down this is the one that's going to go on the uh, the boom I figured I would open it up and lubricate everything so I put a nice coat of 30 weight oil on all the moving parts all the gears including these end ends here I also oiled those underneath that there's oil on top too but the surface underneath that rides against that all right I'm gonna button this thing back up and it'll be ready to go on the boom so before putting it back together, I decided to add in some weep holes. See one there, one there, and one there. Because this side will be on the bottom. That way they're at the lowest point. And even if this thing leans a little bit, any moisture that gets in there can now get out. It doesn't take much. Just three small holes. The mass mounting plate is on. I think I got it square with the rotor. <laughs> as square as I can get it. Alright, <laughs> I'm going to mount this to the pole. I have it mounted to the mast now. The uh, rotor is mounted to that plate and the plate is mounted to the mast. I used a carpenter's square to square it up. The square has that lip on it on the bottom. I can do this with one hand. That lip rides against the pipe and then just butt it up to the bottom of that plate and squared it up. I checked, checked it both sides, ran it up right to the plate, squared it up, tightened up the U-bolts. So that's all assembled now. Now I just need to slip the boom through that rotor. And yes, I already tried. The boom pole will fit through it. I have a, a piece right there. That's the same diameter as that boom, and it slides right through that rotor. It's all wired up. The wiring's all secured. I got my loops in the wiring for the turning. I got it all secured to the mast, to the double mast. Now, <laughs> 
I gotta get my son to give me a hand to stand this thing up. It's heavy. It's real heavy. Alright, I'm gonna go get him and we're gonna stand this thing up. Hand. It's called its foot. No, it's holding the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both of them have the spares, right? Yeah, there you go. It's all done. It's all together. Both rotors are on there. I got my double mast set up where the second pipe ends. Oh, about a foot down from the bottom rotor. And then all the way down is double piped. My support lines, I raised them up higher. And I ran all the wiring, poked some holes down through the roof there, ran the rest of the wiring down through, so all the wiring goes into the building uh, right on the peak of the roof. Except for the ground wire. The ground wires run along the top of the roof. Alright, what do you say we go in? Spin this thing around. See what it looks like with it spinning. It'll spin both directions. The boom will spin. So we can go vertical or horizontal or anything in between. We can even go upside down if we want. And then it's going to turn north to south and back around. Alright, let's get to that. Let's see it in motion. My buddy John's antenna, he built himself. He's uh, got it on dual rotors. And uh, he's got it up and down flat side. He's got a little bit of 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 a little bit
definitely an acrobat. His emotion is probably saying, Please don't. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this ever. <laughs> and I've been on the radio since 1971. When you saw that dual cold face, I told you, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> yeah, if you want to scan for channels, here's the perfect way to do it. Yeah, every direction, pretty much at once, and then the rest of the world that's skipping to you. Nice. Well, I either need a bigger desk or a smaller radio. Because I have to make room for the second rotor box. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure this out. I may put a shelf up behind them, behind the radio, and put them on a shelf back there. That's it. I now have flat side and vertical out of the same antenna. Not at the same time, but I can spin it and go flat side or vertical. And, of course, point it in any direction I want. Alright guys, I thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.